Imagine a life where you are not just dreaming, but actually achieving. What could you accomplish in six months, three years, or even five years if you consistently performed at your best? Hello friends, I'm a 22-year-old student, SMMA agency owner, a growing YouTuber trying to expand on my personal brand by publishing content almost at a daily basis and a bunch of other side hustles like dropshipping, etc. Today, I'm going to tell you how I manage my mind as well as my time. I would say that most of my strategies comes from the book, The 12 Week Year. This book guides me to achieve remarkable results through consistent execution, not just accumulating knowledge. I promise you that if you watch this video till the end and apply all the tips that I'm about to teach you, you will transform the way you plan and act, ensuring you achieve more in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months. So let's begin. First, discard, analyze, thinking. Learn 12-week prioritization. So what is analyzed thinking? Basically, it leads to a lack of urgency and procrastination because the end of the year feels so far away. By thinking in 12-week cycles instead of annual ones, you create a sense of urgency and focus on what needs to be accomplished in the near term. So businesses often see a surge in productivity and sales as the year-end approaches due to the impending Headline. So this urgency can be replicated every 12 weeks. So for example, my goal right now, 12 weeks, which is around 84 days, and today it's 2nd February 2024. So 12 weeks from now, it will be 26 April 2024. So by then, I want to achieve something like maybe publish like one YouTube video every day. So it will be 84 videos and more than 84 shots. So ultimately, growing one of my social media accounts to 5,000 followers or subscribers by then. Final one is to launch a dropshipping business. So for example, instead of setting yearly goals that feel so far away and intangible, learn to break down your goals into 12-week periods and focus on what can realistically be achieved in that time frame itself. So I strongly recommend you to transition your mind from a 12-month year to a 12-week year so plan and execute in 12-week cycles to maintain focus and urgency. Secondly, emotional connection. So create a strong emotional connection to your goals increases your commitment to achieving them. Your goals should resonate with your personal vision and deepest desires. So for example, if you are really passionate about health and fitness, your goal to run a marathon will be deeply connected to your personal values and vision making you more likely to follow through. So I strongly recommend you to craft a compelling personal vision. Understand yourself. That includes your profession and your personal goals. Ensure that your 12-week goals are aligned with this vision to maintain motivation and commitment. Thirdly, your brain and your vision. So understand how your brain works can help you to harness its power to achieve your goals. The prefrontal cortex known as the PFC, lights up when you think about your compelling future. So the prefrontal cortex is basically a part of your brain located at the front of the frontal loop. So it's involved in a variety of complex behaviors and it's considered crucial for personality expression, decision making, and moderating social behavior. And neuroplasticity refers to the brain's ability to change and adapt as a result of experience it will allow your brain to change and develop based on how you use it. For example, regularly visualizing your success and the future you desire can really physically change your brain, strengthening the neural pathway associated with your goals. So I strongly recommend you to spend time each day visualizing your vision and the future you want to create. This practice will engage your prefrontal cortex and make it easier for you to take the actions necessary to achieve your vision. Fourth, keeping scores. So measuring your progress is essential for understanding your current position and for sustaining motivation. So keeping scores enable you to observe the outcome of your actions and make necessary adjustments. It transforms your goals and efforts into tangible results, providing a clear picture of your achievements and areas needing improvements. So for example, consider you have set a goal to enhance your sales numbers. To effectively track your progress, you might monitor specific metrics such as the number of new clients you secure each week or the amount of revenue each sales bring in. 
by doing this, you are not just guessing whether you are improving. You have concrete data to show for your efforts. So I strongly recommend you to craft a straightforward scoring system that aligns with your weekly and 12-week objectives. This system could involve numbers, metrics related to your goals. Ensuring each action's impact is measurable. Regularly accessing your scores, identifying patterns or trends, and use these insights to refine your strategies. This continual process of monitoring and adjustments keep you on the path to achieving your goals and enhances your overall performance in the top week goal. Fifth, accountability and support. Having a system of accountability ensures you remain on track with your goals. While support from peers or mentors provides the encouragement and advice needed to navigate challenges. For example, imagine you are working on a project to launch a new product. By setting up weekly check-ins with a mentor or a peer group, you discuss progress, confront challenges, and receive feedbacks. So these sessions actually hold you accountable to your set targets and provide an opportunity to brainstorm solutions or get new ideas that can propel your project moving forward. I strongly recommend you to learn to establish a robust accountability system, whether it's through a mentor, a coach, or a peer group. Engage regularly in accountability meetings where you review your progress, setbacks, and learnings. So this practice not only keeps you committed to your goals, but also leverages the collective wisdom to overcome obstacles and refine strategies, thereby enhancing the success rate of your 12-week year plan. All the best. And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying to the end. Kindly like this video if you have learned anything from it. And comment any questions you have. Have a nice day early. See you next time.